Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about documentation. Now, documentation is a topic that a lot of people basically just overlook, but it actually goes a long way because when um, we're working with people of like from different teams, from different backgrounds, and we're basically just giving them code, but how it's usually difficult or it can be difficult for people to understand what exactly is happening in code. So it may be difficult to understand what kind of parameters that we want to give into the, you know, the function or what kind of uh, data we're expecting, you know. So um, documentation can actually just go a long way. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to basically document your methods and make it or whatever, not just methods, but, you know, like classes, structs, whatever you want to document. And it's going to basically make it easier for people to, you know, use your code. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to um, can go ahead and create a playground project. And I'm going to just create a very random function, right? So uh, I'm going to call this convert. And uh, let's say this convert method takes in um, amount. And let's say this is of type float. And we also pass in a rate. And this is also type float. We also pass in, um, let's say, commission. And this is of type float. We also pass in, let's say, charges. And let's say this is of type float as well. We also pass in, uh, let's say, customer. And let's say this is of type string. And finally, we will return a float. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and move these to individual lines so that, um, you know, it's readable. So finally, right here, we're going to return 2.4. All right. So the implementation is not the scope of this video. We just want to see how to document this. Now, if you look at this kind of method, you see that we have a couple of parameters. Now we have the method called convert. What exactly are we converting? Right. We can go ahead and make the um, name more descriptive, which is fine. But we could also document this and basically explain what this function converts. The same way we have amounts. What kind of amount are we expecting? Are we expecting amount in um, maybe um, euros or in dollars or whatever? We don't know. What kind of rate are we supposed to pass in? Is it the rate for the, I don't know, just different questions, right? There are different things that you can ask or basically explain to make this a little bit more understandable. Also, what kind of data are we getting back? So convert, um, are we going to be getting, uh, well, you can just ask whatever questions you want. So if I try to use this function and say convert, you can see over here that we have a description. Well, not a description, but basically the definition of the function that we have. Now, if you click on this and click right here, you would also see right here in the quick help that we have no summary. So there's no description of the method, nothing at all, except for um, the function, and the parameters. Now, how can we make this better? If you click over here, Xcode actually comes with um, the ability to auto-generate um, documentation based off of your um, function definition, right? So what we can do is when you click on the name of the function, hold down Command-Alt or Command-Option, and then click on the forward slash, all right? Now, when you do that, you can see that it has already generated a template that we can basically just fill in some data and then our documentation is better. Now for the description, what, how can we describe this function? We can say this function, or just say allows you, again, you can just describe this in whatever you know lang language or structure that you want. So let's say this allows you to be able to convert euros, oops, to dollars, all right? You can specify US dollars. Then we have a couple of parameters. So what is the amount? So we see we have a parameter amount. What exactly does amount mean? So we can say the amount in euros. Okay. The rate, the conversion, or you don't need to add the, you can just say conversion rate between euro and dollars. You can even go ahead and give examples, e.g. 1.2 or whatever you want to say. So commission, um, the amount or um, amount paid in dollars or in euros to the bank. Charges, amount paid in 
euros to Emmanuel. And then the customer, you can say the um, customer bank number or account number. Okay, so this is basically re um, describing the parameters that this particular method expects. Now for the return, you say, okay, um, this is going to return the amount in US dollars. All right, so this is basically just described this function. And if you go ahead and click on this, you can see that the documentation for this particular method is now richer. So the summary says allows you to be able to convert euros to US dollars. And um, we see the uh, parameters, we have amounts, the amounts in euros, rates, this, 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 that, yada, yada. And if you go ahead and you try to write convert, you can see that here we also have a very short description of what this method does. Okay, now you can actually go one step further and be more descriptive in your, your um, you know, your description. So we can go ahead and add a space here. And if you were to go and say some things like um, this function does not use any information off of the internet, so you need to blah, blah, blah. Now, if you do this and you go ahead and let's go ahead and click on this, you would notice that the additional data was added here, right? But if you want to basically separate the summary in such a way that we have a very short description and then some more explanation of what you have, you can just go ahead and add a blank line over here. And when you do this, you're basically going to see that now we only have the summary as allows you to be able to convert euros to dollars. And then there is a new section that has been created right here where you can basically write as much information as you want. You can basically describe the scope, the limitations and everything you want to say about this particular method. All right. Now, um, there are, there's also certain things you can do called callouts where you can basically um, emphasize certain things. So for example, let's say I wanted to add a warning here. So I can basically say um, warning and say um, this function, uh, this method is not um, updated by or updated from the internet. Now, since I wrote this warning, and I click here, you would see that in the discussions category, we have a bold, um, you can call a subheading. And this is called warning. And this method is not updated from the internet. All right. You can also go ahead and specify some more call outs. You can say, for example, authors. And I can say Emmanuel Okwara. And if you click on this, you can see right here that the authors are listed. Okay. So th these are just very quick wins of um, like that you can add to your code base. And this is basically going to make your um, functions more readable. So people can basically not, like just look at this documentation and it's going to make absolute sense to them. Now, this was basically just done to a method. You can also go ahead and document like your classes. So I can say you want to document the parent class and do basically the same thing. And also you don't need to do like the auto generated one but you can go ahead and just follow the same format like this and say this class is a parent and they make investments for their kids. Okay. Now, if you try to access the parent, you can see right here, this class is a parent and they make investments for the kids. So you can just go ahead and just make um, easy documentations like this. And it's basically go going to improve your um, code and uh, it's going to be more readable. It's going to, you know, um, make life easier for all the developers that are going to be using your code. So uh, that's actually it for this video. If you have questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, um, see you guys in the next video. Bye.